Welcome to ZTT Teacher Tube. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over how to take one of my layouts, which are for purchase on Teachers Pay Teachers, how to edit it and how to insert it into your Schoology page to use. So here we go. Hi all, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing some changes in how we can post banners and buttons to Schoology. If this is your first time using banners and buttons on Schoology, this is the way that you wanna do it. If you used banners and buttons in the 2020 to 2021 school year, you may have posted this a different way. So this is a great video to give you a little refresh before you jump onto Schoology. Uh, whenever you purchase a layout from me, you'll always get a document like this with some important reminders, and many of these reminders are the same as last year. So something that we commonly forget is this first one in yellow. Anything that we want to post on Schoology, always remember to check your uh, share settings. When you click that blue button and you get to the share options, you always want to make sure it's set to anyone on the internet can view this link. Otherwise, students and parents will not be able to see the images that we are trying to put into Schoology. So always keep that one in mind. Uh, second little reminder is your Schoology layout should always be in a landscape view. If you're not sure how to do that, we can go to file, page setup, and you'll see that you have the option to switch from portrait to landscape. And that's going to keep our format the size and shape that we want it to post in our course room. Um, in any layout you purchase from me, you'll have one pre-made layout first here. And then if you scroll down, you'll see some directions about posting in Schoology and also alternative banners, different types of buttons, different types of text and icons. And you can use these to personalize the banner and make it look how you want. Your layout is here in an invisible chart. So if you highlight it, you'll see those white lines. This keeps the layout all nice and organized for us. So for example, if you don't want this to say welcome, maybe you want your name on it, you can double click that image. It's going to open up a Google drawing and you can customize this as you see fit. Maybe you don't want this welcome. You can grab a different text box. You can add your name. If you like the fonts that you see here, these are fonts that I have purchased from uh, two different Teachers Pay Teachers sellers and those sellers were linked in the direction. So if you would like those same fonts, you know how to get them. Uh, so you can do all your customization here. I'm just gonna undo this for our tutorial. Always hit save and close. This goes for everything in your format. So if you want to double click this button and change the text, or maybe you want to change the button color, copy the one you want, double click, paste it in, change the text, always hit save and close. Our next task is going to be how to embed this into Schoology. So in order to do that, we need to turn our layout into something we can publish to the web. And you must copy your edited layout into a new blank Google document. You'll see that I've changed some of the text. In the past, you may have linked your buttons here in the Google document. This time around, we're gonna to need to do something a little bit different. So please follow these instructions closely, even if you've done this in the past. When you have your layout exactly the way you want it, we're going to click the file button and select publish to the web. Remember, always check that share button. We want this to be set to anyone on the internet can view. We will click file, publish to the web, and we're going to click the button that is called embed. And this will give us some code. Highlight this code and copy it. Once you have that code copied, come into your Schoology course room. And instead of going straight to updates, we need to do a little hacking here. Click materials and add material. Select add page. 
call it buttons and banner. In the upper right hand corner, you're going to see two dots. Click that bottom white dot and you're going to switch this editing space into the HTML coding that we need. Paste your code. Click that top white dot to switch back to visual. You'll see the yellow box that we typically get when we add any type of content to Schoology. Click the yellow box and select the little picture icon. And it's a square with mountains and a sun. We need to change our dimensions. And the dimension I found that works the best is 825. Select insert, and you'll see that that yellow box is now much bigger. Click create. When we open our page, we will now see our graphic. We're not done yet though. Highlight your buttons and banner and copy them. By pasting this into the materials page, we're forcing Schoology to recognize these images. And we can finally click that updates button. From your course room, click the updates button on the left hand navigation bar. Click into the text box area and paste. Now you can link your buttons. So if you would like these buttons to connect to a specific web page or another part of your Schoology, click the button, insert content and link. For this, I'm just gonna have it go to Google so we can see. You can do this for each of your buttons. When you're all done, we're gonna click this comment box and we're gonna make sure that the bell icon is checked on. Select post and your buttons will appear and they will be clickable. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Wishing you all the best of luck with your school year. You got this.